So friends, what comes in your mind when the word estate planning appears? When I asked this to teachers in one of the FDPs, the answers were interesting. Uh, somebody said it is about managing our real estate or applicable if you own a T-state or do you mean state government planning or ensuring that your wealth will be transferred according to your chosen objectives. And as you may be aware, some of you, the last answer is the correct one. Now, making a will is an integral and significant activity under the estate planning. To clarify this concept further, as per uh, find law estate planning, uh, you can find that it is a process of setting up a clear estate of or se uh, set of instructions about how property and assets will be managed both during the course of life and after people's demise. It is most important step any person can take to make sure that their final or their total property and healthcare wishes are honored and the loved ones are uh, provided for their absence. Estate planning is gaining significance with time and it is important for all, uh, especially women. Now, Mother's Day comes in the month of May and people celebrate Mother's Day by conveying their respect to mothers. So, as we talk about the estate planning, uh, women seem to have lots of problems and challenges. So, women who are married are mostly going to outlive their husband. Other women who do not marry or divorced, they face problem regarding estate planning, which they can indeed overcome. Women of any age, whether married or unmarried, widow, widowed or divorced, does not matter, but they should all have knowledge about personal finance by which they can maintain their independence and play the desired role in the family. Now, women must be aware of financial paperwork, insurance policy, real estate planning and certificate of stocks and bonds, uh, accounts of brokerage, annuity statements and so on. So, women must also take up necessary decision to know more about the documents. One of the researchers, I remember Barry, observed that women who are facing difficulty while taking financial decisions are expected to experience more problems when they uh, live life alone. Now, women unmarried or divorced after the death of husband are financially destroyed if they are single or with family. The independence of women means education and by which she can plan for the future life. So, women should know about their finances and must have a master plan by which they can maintain their living lifestyle and if they are unmarried. Now, one important point that most of us believe that nomination and joint ownership are the ways of estate planning. However, uh, both these means are usually ineffective and legally disputable. So, it is important to know that nomination and joint ownership are both superseded by succession laws. Most family disputes have arisen owing to uh, nomination, joint ownership, being different individuals compared with legal heirs. So, estate planning works uh, with its tools and these tools could be will, power of attorney, trust and lifetime gifts. So, let us see them uh, one by one. So, starting with the will. Now, a person can easily manage and distribute estate after the death by a document. So, will is a legal activity that permits a person, the testator, to make a decision on how his estate will transfer to others after the death. In the Indian context, wills are expected on the two main processes that is Indian uh, Succession Acts and Hindu Succession Acts. The provision of uh, Hindu Act are applicable to Hindu, Jain, Sikhs and Buddhists by religion that is Hindus by religion and Indian Succession Act is applicable on all except the Muslims. So, Muslims are governed by the Muslim uh, personal law that is Sharia Application Act 1937. So, dear colleagues, we can say that will is a type of document in which a person specifies the method applied in the management and distribution of his estate after the person's death. A will is a solemn document by which a dead man entrusts to the living to carrying out his wishes. Now, this is as per uh, section 2H of uh, Indian Succession Act 1925. Now, the provisions of the Indian Succession Act 1925 uh, generate a will made by a Hindu, Buddhist, Sikh or Jain. However, the Indian Succession Act does not govern Mohammedan. So, Muslims can dispose their property according to the Muslim law. The Hindu Succession Act 1956 extends to whole of India except the Jammu and Kashmir. 
So, any person who is Hindu by religion in any its forms, developments including follower of Brahmo, Prarthana or Arya Samaj. Another aspect comes that who can make a will. So, every person who is sound mind and is not a minor can make a will. Second thing to know is that while Divyang can make a will, but those who are unfortunately deaf, dumb or blind can also make a will provided they are able to know what they do by it. And the third thing is that yet another crucial point uh, I would like to point out that a person is ordinarily insane in case uh, can also make a will, but during the interval which he is of sound mind. So, that is what the law provides for. Uh, fourth thing uh, is that one should remember that no person can make a will while he is in such a state of mind whether arising from intoxication or from illness or from any other cause which he does not know what he is doing. So, making an error free will uh, would ensure that your assets are passed on to your heirs smoothly. It also minimizes the risk of disputes over the assets of family after one's demise. So, there are various mistakes that one can make uh, while drafting a will which include not specifying the details of one's assets or not updating a will with changes in the assets. So, here I would like to give you some 8 10 tips on how to drop uh, or how to drop a basic will by including uh, mandatory details and avoiding technical glitches and mistakes. So, uh, all names should be written in full and should match those in the official documents like Aadhaar or PAN card. So, that is one thing. Second thing is that update the will if there is any change in the assets bought or sold or in the name of status of beneficiaries or if you want to alter the beneficiaries. Uh, so, you should know how to write a will and uh, then be as specific as possible about each asset. Uh, listing address, company, scheme name, account number, amount etcetera. Uh, another thing is every page of the will should be signed by the testator and the witnesses. Any correction should also be countersigned by the testator and the witnesses. Uh, fifth point is that signature should ideally match with the valid document and avoid using complicated or technical legal terms. Uh, one more is do not make beneficiary a witness as it is illegal to do so. So, many times people may not uh, keep this in mind and they suffer the problem. You do not necessarily have to list the assets and beneficiaries in a tabular form. You can write about each asset separately in sentence form as long as you specify all the details of the asset so, uh, or beneficiary and your relationship to the beneficiary. And make sure you have two witnesses that is also there. Importantly, they should sign the will in your presence and witness you are making the will and signing the will in their presence. So, both things. And finally, I would say that the testator is a senior citizen. It is advisable to have a doctor certificate uh, vouching for the testator's soundness of mind because that may create a problem later on. Now, second thing, uh, let us see about the power of attorney. A researcher uh, Mudholkar has narrated that the power of attorney is a legal arrangement which which uh, it authorizes other person to act on one's behalf. So, financial and medical are two main types of uh, power of attorneys in which one decides who will manage money and other decides to care the health if one is not able to take care of self. Trust is another concept. So, Madhulkar has further clarified that to transfer the ownership of financial asset 
trust is used in the place of will and also where direct or immediate transfer is not possible due to certain reasons. So, it is a legal relationship where one party for the benefit of others uh, holds property and when one party transfers property to the other party for the benefit of the third party. A legal owner can create a trust of property without transferring it to any other person. So, trust means setting up entity. It helps and avoids probate process and reduces certain expenses. Next, uh, we should know about the gifts. So, uh, the same author Mudholkar has guided that wealth transferred during the life of a person to their near and dear ones, especially family members are known as gifts. So, gifts are given by re relatives, received by others on uh, marriage etcetera, they are exempt from income tax. A gift deed needs to be made when gifting an immovable, immovable uh, property. So, that is one thing that uh, everyone should know about. Professor Parohit, you have already guided 10 PhDs in the area of personal financial planning. What uh, happens if the assets of the person who dies without making a will? That is a very good question and uh, quite in mind of uh, uh, different people. So, the biggest mistake in estate planning is not having a will. So, not having a proper will in place is likely to result in a lot of difficulty for the family members of the deceased person and the heirs may have uh, to spend more time and bear higher expenses to claim the money willed to them. So, also not leaving a will may lead to undesirable that is from the point of view of the deceased undesirable distribution of assets because when a person dies interstate that is without a will his or her estate is passed on according to the succession laws applicable to the deceased as per his or her religion. Now, Hindu law for Hindus, Buddhists, Jains and Sikhs, the Hindu Succession Act 1956, Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005, they are applicable. So, if a Hindu male dies interstate, his property will go to the class 1 heirs. So, if uh, that does not exist, it will go to class 2 heirs. If these do not exist, then it will go to agnates and in the absence to cognates. So, if these, if these are not there, the estate goes to the government. So, class 1 heirs, uh, son, daughter, widow, mother, son, daughter of a predeceased son, son, daughter of predeceased daughter, uh, widow of predeceased son, uh, son or daughter of predeceased son of uh, predeceased son, widow of uh, predeceased son of predeceased son. Now, class 2 heirs uh, may have son's daughter's son, son's daughter's daughter, brother, sister, daughter's son's son, daughter's son's daughter, uh, daughter's or daughter's son or uh, uh, daughter's daughter, brother's son among others. So, agnates uh, distant blood relatives of male lineage, uh, cognates distant blood relatives of male or female uh, lineage. If a Hindu female dies interstate, her property shall devolve as one first to sons and daughters that is including the children of predeceased son or daughter and the husband and second uh, to the heirs of the husband, third to mother and father, fourth to heirs of father and fifth to heirs of mother. Now, Islamic law, Muslim law uh, recognizes two type of heirs, sharers and residuaries. So, sharers are entitled to certain share in deceased property. Residuaries take up share in property that is left over after sharers have taken their part. So, estate planning is an emerging area of research uh, and uh, lot of work uh, will take place in the subsequent time. But uh, I believe over here that you know one should be very mindful and keen and uh, careful when one goes for the will and other things. So, if someone wishes to research on estate planning, what are the trends you have observed post study of the existing literature in estate planning? Yes, Dr. Kathy, I think you have asked a very good question and uh, let me tell you here that uh, very few researchers have been uh, uh, taken place in the area of estate planning. And uh, particularly if you see financial literacy that in itself is less researched and within that the components which are there, I would say estate planning is the least researched. I would, uh, my answer will be a little longer. So, if you see uh, the past uh, literature, you will find that researchers like Pai and others, they discussed about uh, individuals who are making will and do not have huge assets. And according to researchers, uh, the individuals are not able to repay the debt and the children's future is safeguarded by the trust. Uh, researchers say that the more professional business person and industrialist are taking trust route towards diversity and uh, protecting their assets and anyone can do estate planning via trust and uh, according to the researchers, one can use uh, trust in various ways in their life and uh, 
they can decide to give money to his or her children when he or she turns 18. Uh, one more uh, researcher, Bandre, for example, explained about uh, retirement planning of some districts of Chhattisgarh and she found that the level of financial literacy in the selected area. And then the young researcher who is no more uh, now, she tried to understand the people about uh, financial literacy and uh, worked on uh, the various aspects and also informed them that the money and the financial products are integral parts of the life. She also concluded that uh, the three main basic pillars of financial literacy that is the financial inclusion, financial literacy and uh, consumer protection, they are there and also found a good awareness of estate planning among people which came as a pleasant surprise for her. One more researcher, uh, Richie, uh, long back has uh, worked on estate planning to know the awareness between the people and the help of students through the survey and then um, she found the summary and all. So, will, trust, future, uh, interest and estate and gift taxation they were worked upon and according to the survey everyone was interested to draft the living trust will and analyze that it was beneficial to teach the estate planning. So, very interesting and then Cantor for example examined that lawyers have played a role in different field to convey and inform about the process of working rules in different situations and uh, in particular conditions and according to the researcher estate planning is a process to counsel the clients uh, in the business uh, as far as the welfare is concerned. Objective of the clients must also be assumed and uh, one can get down to estate planning. So, estate planning is becoming more and more relevant for the people in the last decade and it was found that there is a huge increase in the house prices which means that huge increase in the personal wealth and trust is legal and useful and sometimes complex way to transferring benefits of your assets that can be anything from cash, stocks and shares. So, the trust document will set up what has been given away, how it is going to book after it, the trustees who is going to benefit from it, the beneficiaries and any rules associated with that trust. So, when people die, the things they own become the part of estate planning which is distributed through will jointly owned assets and that will pass directly to the supervisor and when owner die and uh, not form the part of estate and are given uh, to the assets to anyone alive. But keep in mind that law allows for spouse, child or dependent to challenge the will after the death they have. So, these researches uh, I mean the key observation has been that uh, there is an increase in the studies in the past uh, uh, last 7-8 years, the studies on estate planning in India are much lower in comparison to the foreign context. Uh, also, transfer of assets in foreign countries, US law and international law works in the planning of the estate law. And uh, Dr. Khyati, in the western world, research has been conducted on estate planning with reference to family protection by the personal assets and partnership property. Prime Minister Honorable Sri Narendra Modi ji has requested the Indian lawyers to launch free online legal services for the help of Indian population that makes it convenient for the planning of the legal process. Uh, with that Dr. Khyati what I found was that uh, while some surveys on financial literacy indicate that women in general are unaware about estate planning, little work has been reported in the Asian context and aspects like barriers for women in undertaking estate planning and preferences of women to undertake estate planning are quite uh, non-researched areas and it is believed that majority of people are not careful about their family's future and think about the appropriate will and trust. So, research conducted on women's knowledge about financial services in some countries, they indicate that some vigilance towards the estate planning is there. Now, people are unaware of the transfer of assets and property and are inattentive regarding the estate planning. And as little research has been reported on estate planning and the association with retirement planning, tax planning, liquidity planning, you can say there is a dearth of research in this area. And furthermore, the attitude of women towards the transfer of assets as for the individual and individual Indian succession acts is also very little research. And the relationship of estate planning with retirement planning, liquidity management, tax planning, investment planning and financial literacy are less explored in the Indian context. So, uh, comparing estate planning in rural, urban, man, women, more literate, less literate and others has not been carried much in India and also in many other countries. So, 
this provides an opportunity for researchers to research it. And uh, it can be said that you know lot of topics could be possible at the doctoral level as far as um, Indian context is concerned. Um, now, what one can do specifically, one can try to evaluate the basic understanding of women in India of selected states uh, of some region, any kind of region they can take up. And they can analyze the barriers for women in undertaking the estate planning and the preferences uh, of women to undertake estate planning and also in other components of estate planning. So, one can also evaluate if there is a relationship between financial literacy scope and inclination of women towards estate planning with reference to the components of personal finance and the socio-economic status uh, of women. And further, one can analyze the position of women concerning transfer and in of uh, inheritance of assets as per uh, Individual Succession Act and the Indian Succession Act uh, in our country's context. And one can also suggest strategies to stakeholders for improving the attitude of women towards estate planning. And one can also compute the financial literacy of women under the uh, some states and then accordingly take the things uh, further from there. So, the essence is that a lot of research can be possible in the area of estate planning and more importantly, if one does research, I tell you this will be in national interest. Okay, so Professor, are there any online services to make a will? Yes, indeed there are. Uh, there are many like SBI caps and HDFC securities. Uh, in fact, you go to their website, then you can find that they have a link and uh, they help you to find out uh, how do you make a will. And uh, you can go to willgenie.com, easywill.com and the good part is that there is an FAQ section also and there is a provision to make the will for free also. So, it is not so that you have to pay and in order to um, um, make the will and take the help from the online uh, services. Uh, uh, so, it is a good idea, but I would say that uh, while these online services exist, but it will be always good that if one would like to uh, uh, contact a lawyer and then go for a will in a proper way. But still, you know, if some reasons uh, prevent you from uh, not visiting a lawyer, then the online websites really are very good. And consult uh, a good one like if you um, uh, trust on the brand like State Bank of India or HGFC, then you know, uh, I think uh, you will find it good. But then first of all, one should be aware about the basics and then only go for the online. So, these are some of the crucial aspects. Thank you.